Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss what is interference and types of interference. Then, division of wavefront and division of amplitude. Okay, now let us see what is interference. Interference is phenomena in which two waves superpose to form a resultant wave of greater or lower or the same amplitude and there are two types of interferences the first one is constructive interference and the second one is destructive interference okay now let us see the first one constructive interference <coughs> Constructive interference when two waves meet in such a way that their crests line up together then it is called constructive interference and the resulting wave has a higher amplitude. This is the constructive interference and destructive interference. Here the crest of one wave meets the trough of another and the result is a lower total amplitude. Okay, now let us see constructive interference. Here, we are going to consider two waves. This is the first wave and right? this is the second wave. And when two waves meet in such a way that their crest points line up together then it is called a constructive interference and the resulting wave we see that the resulting wave is having higher amplitude as compared to the previous one. In constructive waves, the crest point or the trough point should line together. Then the resulting wave is having higher amplitude. And for destructive, destructive interference, for destructive interference, For destructive interference, here also same, we are going to consider two waves. This is the first wave and here it is the second wave. Here the crest of one wave meets the trough of other wave or the trough of other wave meets the crest of other wave then we are going to observe that the resulting amplitude is going to be a zero we call this as a destructive interference okay now let us see division of wavefront and division of amplitude here division of wavefront is the here the coherent sources are obtained by dividing the wavefront originating from a common sources by employing by prisms or lenses 
this class of interference requires a point source or narrow slit source the instruments used to obtain interference by division of wave front are the fresnel by prism fresnel mirrors and the next one division of amplitude in this method the amplitudes of the incident beam is divided into two or more parts either by partial reflection or refraction thus we have coherent beams produced by division of amplitude these beams travel different paths and finally brought together to produce interference and example for division of wave front newton's rings and michelson's interferometer okay now let us see division of wave front here we are going to consider a source from this source it emits waves and in front of this source we are going to keep two slits from these two slits a wave is going to divide this first one and this is second one in this way we are going to divide the first wave into two waves this is the division of wave front okay now let us see division of amplitude here we are going to consider a medium which is having two faces this is the top one this is the bottom one and a light ray is going to incident on the above surface and it is having some amplitude let us suppose it is having 100% amplitude then we are going to divide this amplitude in terms of reflection on first surface the incident wave is going to reflect then some of its light is going to transmit and incident the second surface or bottom surface then from this bottom some amount of light is reflected and also similarly here also on top surface some amount of light is gets reflected and some amount of light is refracted here this is the amplitude of wave this is also amplitude of wave here the incident wave amplitude is divided into two amplitudes it takes let us suppose if the first wave takes 80% of amplitude then the second wave is going to take 20% of amplitude so here we have got from single amplitude wave we have got two amplitude wave this is the division of amplitude 